What up, Doge? Boy C. Stapes coming to you with my Arcanist updated build for update 41. Here's my stats so you check them out buffed up 50 in the health, 14 in the stamina. We are a wood elf on here, and I'm using the Jewels of Misrule as my consumables. I'll go into all of that really, really quick and let you guys see exactly what I'm using. I'm using this for the movement speed, the penetration, the stamina recovery, and the max stem. There's other races you can use on here. Ask me about them down in the comments. We are using the masters on here. I have tested it out and it does work. This isn't your spammable. This is the dots you're using. Over time, your flail would be your spammable in this build. But you can use maces. I was trying out dagger and a sword. Just try out some different things, but you will get more pin with that. Um, like I said, it does work. You want to learn home and sharpen back bar. We are using the ward tree new set on this build. Um, just really, really good when you um, use a magic ability. You every 15 seconds you cleanse of basically all negative effect, effects, which this patch is killing you. So just going over all the skills that will basically just take it off like almost every skill in your back bar so this is a really really good back bar set for this patch i will be testing it um thoroughly um gaze set this is our mythic of choice um on this build like i said other builds we will try out other mythics but i am using this mythic on this build and i'm really liking it um, one of our front bar and both bar sets on this build would be Ancient Dragon Guard. I'm really loving the 300 spell and weapon damage you get when you're above 50. And when you're under 50, you really do need that extra physical and spell resistance that you get from this set. So it's kind of like flipping offense and defense whenever you get low. Loving it. Um, as far as shoulder, like I said, Magma Incarnate. Or you can use a stone or you can use one for more physical spell resistance. Whatever you like. And ancient dragon guard we do have a light belt on this and the rest is medium just to give us our undaunted passive if you can tank it out and afford to wear all light armor try it for me it doesn't work we do have all prismatic glyphs on here and once again we have two reinforced and we're running five um m pin um traits on the jury is infused with one reduced um cost glyph and we do have two of the max damage ones and they are infused take time now if you haven't check down below and hit that sub button i know you guys always forget about it i know you guys love me but we'll go into skills next after i go through consumables once again we are using the jewels and misrule if you want to use the gold food or food that give you more health regen it will work on this build because the gaze does give you health regen but jewels work really really well try it out you should enjoy it the way i do cheap food um, tripods would be our consumables. Keep you some detect pots because night blades are really, really annoying this patch. And some tripods. Going into the skills, clearly we're using the masters, so we want to use rending slashes. Just a dot we put on them. Really, really good sustained damage, and it does put a lot of dif different static effects like hemorrhage and just nice to bleed them out. Um, while you sit there and tank you can put this on several opponents it works really really well and it is buffed up once again from the masters perfected um, not to perfect it but the masters daggers or maces or swords whatever you want to use but really really good next we will go into the flail this is your spammable it does more damage after you use it once but you do want to practice up with your b attack um, but this is just really really good it snares them, it's your CC, it's, it's just ridiculous. This is what you pop on your weapon. It's kind of like um, crushing weapons. You put it on there, generate crux. Um, really, really good attack. Just This is your CC, it's like fossilized, but for an arcanist, um, it keeps people in place or you can have them turn around and run fear. This is the morph I'm using. Feel free to use the other morph if you like, but this is my personal preference quick cloak we are using this for the speed i do like the major evasion that it gives you it do it does do a decent amount of damage but you're not using it for the damage you're using it for the speed and just the the major evasion um <clears throat> we are using the tie gaze on here you can change it out for thriving chaos dawnbreaker would be better because you're getting the weapon damage but i'm actually liking it because just having this on your bar 
um, with one of the passives is giving you more penetration and who doesn't want more penetration that's a thousand more penetration and his ultimate puts a lot of pressure on people it makes them run from you it's really really good ultimate try it out if you don't like it then switch out for one of the other ones but going into our back bar we have um, evolving room man this is like your vigor on the build it generates cruxes is hill over time it pops the teammates it's a good heal try it out um, this isn't your primary heal but you'll see how we stay up and everything just we have one shield right here this is based off your max health 7100 shield i am in pvp now so i can show you what it does um, it's based off of health it generate crux it's great ability room grot or freedom when you're under 50 percent and the first time casting it gives you a gigantic shield and health and all of these great benefits which is really really nice but the minor protection is good um your like i said your major fracture on the build or whatever they call it now is elemental subsibility just put this on there to give them breach and give them different status elements and it's free this is your armor buff on the build um it when people hit you it gives a minor breach which is also another great buff that a lot of people sleep on and for the ultimate on our back bar we have the abyss of c it has got patched down now so it's only doing 55,000 match shield where it was at like a hundred thousand or something ridiculous but once again man if you wait stop if you guys have watched my videos at this point you had to see two or three of them if not go check them out link back hit that sub button so that you in tune with all of my new content coming in while we get ready to go into these champion points for you right now so coming in on the champion point side we have first um duelist rebuff untamed aggression um like you said pause it ironclad these are our ones reason bastion you could use shield master but i love bastion on this arcanist it's just making your shields bigger it makes me feel like a sort survival instincts you will always have dots on you in between and somebody um attacking you health regen you could take this off and put sustain by suffering so as you can see just i was trying to buff up more health regen but you could try it let me know how you think this is the, the champion points i would use and i'll show you the green tree which doesn't too much matter but just in case you guys did want to check it out if you're new to the channel consider hitting that sub button or go check out some of my past vi videos i do have more bills coming out i drop bills every sunday if i drop one in between it's for you guys like let me know down in the comments what you think about the build like i said i do love this and i love this build stay tuned more videos to come it's your boy peace